We've got a lot of severe weather to affect the UK during the next few days. Uh, different elements affecting different parts of the UK at different times, including wind, rain, snow and ice. And let's start off with where we are now then, uh, on Monday. We're seeing this deep depression running very, very close to the, the north of Shetland, producing some extremely strong winds here. That is starting to move away now. Meanwhile, further south, we've got this frontal band slowly sinking its way southwards and eastwards across England and Wales, producing uh, quite a lot of rain. You can see the orange colours show the warmer air associated with that front. That sinks its way slowly southwards this coming night, producing quite a lot of rain across the south and the east of England and Wales. Meanwhile, further north, we're seeing the colder air sweep in, as shown by the blue colours here. And by tomorrow morning, we'll see cold air now, well in place across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And that will bring showers increasingly of sleet and snow uh, to lower levels across parts of Scotland and the north and the west of Northern Ireland through Monday night into Tuesday. And here it could produce, uh, by the end of this coming night, quite a few centimetres of snow. And the colours here show the coverage of snow by 6 o'clock on Tuesday morning, with much of the higher ground of Scotland and Northern Ireland covered by snow, but also some snow affecting uh, some lower level sites too. Now during Tuesday, if I pick up from here again, the blue colours you see extending the way further southwards and eastwards across the UK shows the colder air filtering ever further south, affecting more and more of northern England through Tuesday. And if you look at the sequence once again with the snow depths, you can we see the, uh, the colours starting to appear across parts of northern England by Tuesday afternoon. So some snowfall affecting parts of the Pennines, Cumbria, uh, mainly the high level sites during the daytime, but there could be some snow at lower levels uh, the following night. And beyond that, things don't stop there. The colder air continues to filter down across parts of southern England and South Wales um, overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. So by the time we get through to Wednesday morning, here we can see the signal for snow coverage extending to more of Wales, the south and west of England, parts of the Midlands. Now there's some uncertainty as to what level that snow will get down to, and most of the snow will be over the higher ground, such as Exmoor, uh, the Cotswolds, the Mendips for example, but where precipitation is heavy we could see a covering of snow even at lower levels, so we have warnings uh, in force for that at the moment, plus of course the risk of ice up and down the country by that stage. And from Wednesday we see the next Atlantic system coming in quite quickly, a risk of some snow on its leading edge but the main factor will be wind and rain. The rain mainly affecting uh, parts of Cumbria, Wales, western and southern England where some quite large rainfall totals could bring some flooding, but also strong winds as well, particularly affecting the southwest quadrant of England and Wales with gusts of 60 to 70 miles an hour, perhaps slightly above that on some coastal areas and some large waves too. And then by the time we get through to Thursday, the deep low runs northwards all the time with the strongest winds transferring to northern England and parts of southern Scotland. After that, then the cold air floods back in again from the northwest. So to end the week, we're looking at frost and ice and some wintry showers too. The details will change around the country from day to day and from region to region. Best advice really is to stay in touch with our website and stay tuned to the forecast.